This is a 1940 Buick Special Convertible. It's really a classy car and it's brilliant yellow paint really makes it stand out. First you notice the dual mount uh, spare tires one on either side here. It's propelled by uh, overhead valve straight 8 uh, engine, the one they were famous for. Wheel trim rings and hubcaps. Typical running board for the time. You notice the cowl vent and the split windshield. And we're going to look inside here and we see uh, this is an auction car. We've got the machined uh, dashboard which is really a class uh, act here. And the car has a radio as you can see and also has turn signals that are there's the stalk right there, right by the gear shift. One of the first cars to have uh, <clears throat> factory uh, mounted turn signals. They blinked the uh, two lights in the front and also uh, the center cluster of uh, lights in the trunk lid. left side for one for left turns, right side for the other. Now you notice the latch here. And I've paused the, uh, the video here just a bit to <clears throat> remark how uh, minimal the latches were back in the day. You can see that if there is a traffic accident that door would be very likely to pop open and Without seatbelts, the occupant uh, would leave the car and wind up on the roadway, which is not a good place to be. Very large trunk in these cars. And there's that center mounted uh, <clears throat> display for the turn signals. And of course, the latch there for the uh, deck lid. And then you have to notice how small the windows were in the uh, convertible. A very limited vision to the rear when the top was up. I like the look of this wide white walls. And there you see the specifications, the three-speed manual. A really very classy car. And this was a Buick Special. It wasn't the top of the line. Very nice.